Hi, my name is Dr. Deborah Barnes, and I'm an Associate Professor of Psychiatry and Epidemiology and Biostatistics at the University of California, San Francisco. And I'm here today to talk about a new exercise program that we've developed called Preventing Loss of Independence Through Exercise, or PLIE. So the reason that we developed this program is that we're currently on the edge of a major dementia epidemic, and this is both in the United States and throughout the world. So right now there are about 5 million people in the United States that have dementia or Alzheimer's disease, which is the most common cause of dementia, and by the year 2050 it's expected that that will rise to about 13 million, so more than a two-fold increase. And the costs just right now are more than $200 billion a year in the U.S. So there are several medications for dementia and Alzheimer's disease that are available right now, and they do help a little bit with cognitive function, but they really don't help people maintain functional independence and quality of life. So what we really re need right now are effective strategies that address all of those, that help people maintain cognitive function, physical function, and quality of life as the disease progresses. We developed PLIE with input from experts uh, nationwide and also internationally who had expertise from a wide range of different Eastern and Western exercise traditions, including yoga, Tai Chi, Feldenkrais, uh, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and mindfulness meditation. And we took the best principles from all of those different traditions and wove them together to create a new integrative exercise program. And the program is really designed to help people who have dementia maintain functional status, increase their body awareness, and also help them engage socially with other people who have the disease. And um, we recently pilot tested this program, and we found that um, based on our pilot test results that the people who engage in the program seem to improve more in measures of physical performance, cognitive function, and even quality of life compared to those who just engage in usual activities. So there's several key components to the program and several reasons why we think that it might work. Uh, we start out with greeting each person who comes into the room. We make eye contact. We make them feel welcome. Uh, people then sit in a, in a circle, um, which helps to facilitate the kind of group interaction that happens during the program. And then we go through a process of warming up the body and becoming more mindful of the body, increasing body awareness. Um, then there are a series of seated exercises that are based on trying to engage in very simple functional movements and extend range of motion. And then we move on to standing exercises. So we remind people the mechanics of standing up and sitting down safely. This is something that's often lost in people who have dementia. We're helping their muscles to remember how to do these basic activities um, since they have trouble cognitively remembering these things. Throughout all of these exercises, we try to make the exercises playful and engage people in social um, interactions with each other. Um, this helps make the exercises more meaningful. And then after the standing exercises, we come back and we do some additional body awareness experiences, kind of a cool down process, if you will, and some mindful breathing. And then we close with, uh, with appreciations, and we ask people to uh, reflect on things that they appreciate. And we find that this whole process has led to not just physical improvements, but a, a social bond that happens with the people in the class, which we think is part of what encourages the improvements in cognitive function and the quality of life. So there are several things that are really unique about the program. Um, one is the integrative nature, so we're combining these different exercise traditions um, and we're also combining um, both physical um, kind of awareness or attention to increase cognitive function through body awareness and then a social component to the program and we think it's that integrative aspect that really has helped the program to have such powerful pilot study results so that the, the whole of the program is greater than each of the individual components. So our next step is to go out and seek funding for a grant to see if we can replicate these very promising pilot study results in a larger study population.